Hello, Talete Souls. This is Luna bringing you a pick a card reading. How are you? Hope you are all keeping safe. And again, thank you so much for everyone that is helping us to keep safe, healthy. Thank you so much. And I wanted to start this reading with this beautiful bridge. Um, you know, uh, this is where I come to meditate. <laughs> Not bad, no? Uh, I'm very blessed, uh, you know, to have the chance to do it here in front of the water. I love water, uh, although I'm a Capricorn, but you know, uh, I love the river. Anyway, thank you so much for my new subscribers. Thank you for the comments, the emails. I absolutely love when you share, uh, you know, that uh, these videos resonated with you. Uh, it totally makes my day. And here is the deal. The deal is I... Um, you ignite my talent and in return i truly wish i can ignite yours okay and so it is that's the goal that's the goal and today to help you to ignite your talent uh we are going to talk about your boss you know that i'm fascinated about the relationship with the boss <laughs> um reality is that uh, uh, they are important connections okay uh, no matter for how long, there is something to learn there always. So today the question is, what your boss wants to teach you? And look at this beautiful family. Look at that. Oh my God. It's three little ducks with two, the mom and the dad. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. This is a spot. I mean, this is amazing. Bye guys. <laughs> anyway, uh, the idea is what your boss or your business partner or that important person that work with you, I uh, want to teach you and what do you need to learn from them, okay? And that's the question is, uh, you know, I think uh, there is always something to learn from those connections and uh, we will ask the spirit about that. And before I go, I want also to thank you so much to my beautiful, amazing friend, uh, Kino. Kino has two channels. One is uh, a tarot channel, I will put the link under, and also a music channel. She's so talented uh, and welcome to my uh, channel, all the people that came through, uh, you know, Kino recommendation. Uh, thank you so much for being here. I love you, Kino. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And well, here are the options. This is what I have with me. So uh, this is it. Okay. So number one is this beautiful pendulum. I love my pendulum. Number two, the carnelian. It's kind of red beautiful number three is the clear quartz okay and number four this is very cute because i found it on my way is this beautiful feather that i put it there because i don't want it to fly away okay so that feather wants to come here so those are the four options okay option one uh, the purple pendul the carnelian option number two the crystal clear uh, quartz and the feather and I leave you with this amazing view and um, see you in a minute and have an amazing, an amazing day. See you. Hello, talented souls. If you have chosen, you know, this beautiful pendulum, okay, which is one of my, well, it's my favorite, I always carry it. This will be your reading. Okay, we're going to put it here and look, I want to show you. Teach. This is a stone that I got from uh, Seattle in the US, okay? Um, pretty much, I will say, like uh, in 2006, okay? So it's a long time ago, okay? And um, I always carry it with me, and I love it. I always... <laughs> it's like my mission, no? <laughs> As well. Okay, so what we have today is we have... Three three cards that will tell us what your boss, your business partner, or significant, uh, let's say, uh, business connection uh, or work connection want to teach you, okay? These are the final advice. I love this beautiful card, okay? We're going to put it at the end, okay? And uh, for you, I will use this tarot deck, um, and I use different tarot decks for everyone. Okay, so I'm going to do a shuffle just at the beginning, and then before we go ahead, we will shuffle a little bit more, okay? But let's see the um, overall picture about what your boss, 
uh, want to teach you, okay? The main card will be this one, the anchor card, and this will be supportive, okay? It's like, like this. Okay, what he want to teach you? Communication, ooh, I love it, number 22. He want you to improve your communication skills. Maybe he's a great communicator, someone that really, 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 uh, you know, gets his or her message across, okay? So he's working on your communication skills. Also, number 22 is a master number, so definitely this is a person that you need to learn from, this skill. Is someone that already have mastered the communication. Uh, not only I'm getting this message, not only on a, on a work level, but also on a public level. So this is someone that will be in front of, a, of masses or will be in front of a board, will be in front of a stakeholders, will be in front of a very important people and will communicate uh, and will engage and will try to get maybe investment, maybe, uh, you know, um, bigger decisions. It's someone that has reached a level of authority where this person communicates in front of very senior people to get what he needs. And he has mastered this communication skill and he wants to transfer this skill to you, obviously because he sees the potential in you. He sees you as someone that is definitely listening to him. We see here a person that is very calm, very, uh, you know, let's say, maybe this is, I mean, this is you I'm getting. You come across like someone very, I mean, sometimes a little bit more quiet, more, uh, let's say, introverted, more, um, let's say, um, more on your, on, yeah, you're highly, highly um, intelligent, meaning like you're very mental. I mean, you put a lot of attention to your uh, thinking, I mean, thinking process and, you know, your um, analytics skills I'm getting, okay? So you think a lot and this person is trying to get that and this, then that's a really intelligence out because you are more introverted or you are more, let's say, uh, less outspoken, okay? More on the quiet side, not, not, not in a bad way. I mean, you, you really do it uh, really well in your work, but he wants to or she wants to make it really shine. I mean, he wants to take this uh, skill, this intelligence and this understanding to another level. He wants you to become kind of like him or her, okay? Uh, I'm, I mean, uh, guys with the, uh, sorry, talented souls, no guys, but you're my guys. <laughs> Uh, when I say he, she, I mean, take it as to resonate. The main thing that this person knows that you're very intelligent, very clever, that you can fly very high in your career, that you're going to achieve a lot of amazing things. He has chosen you as the person he really wants to train and he really wants to teach. That's why, why also we have 22. He has chosen you to put you in another level and in another layer in your career. He has chosen you to, communi to communicate his knowledge, to, com to teach you how to communicate and teach you how to really make you, um, take you out of this, uh, you know, let's say more shyness or more, let's say, introverted aspect of yourself because you're very talented on that, but take you out of that and put that knowledge out. That's what I'm getting, okay? But also uh, in that uh, he see you, I mean, he have seen you doing other presentation. He have seen you, you know, talking in front of people. He have seen you convincing people to your point. And you always have so much data, so much information that it's very imp impossible not to listen to you. Okay. Also, you are very uh, charming. That's what I'm getting. You are very charming. And he's, he, he's thinking that with that skill, Plus, you're intelligent, you will be someone that people will listen as they listen to him or to her. Okay? So that's beautiful. He will teach you communication. So, I mean, and also master. He's a master of this. He's a master of this skill. And Iris may be significant for some of you. Okay. Other two cards supporting this, this uh, message. The wild woman, yes, because he wants you to take out your heart more out, you know? He wants you to put your heart more out. He wants you to really, really, uh, let's say, let it go, let it go, show off, show off. That's what I'm getting. And the time master, oh, I love this. He knows that it's a question of time, you know? He knows that it's a question of time, you know? This is what he wants to unlock on you, and he knows that uh, it's a question of, of time, uh, but you will shine bright, high, 
in this skill. This is a skill that you already have, okay? This is something, but obviously this is kind of a young person, you know, this is an early stage. You have this skill, but it's not fully, fully developed. Your boss, your business partner, or the person that you're working with, the person you're thinking about it, is going to teach you this to a level of mastering it. Here we have the word master, and we have time because obviously it takes time. That's, that's what I'm getting. It takes time to learn this skill, but you will master this like he mastered this, okay? Also, he it looks like him in my in my my view, but he's not that that uh, older. I mean, like uh, you're you're quite maybe. Oh, sorry, this won't, this is very specific. It won't be for all of you, but I'm getting a ten years difference, something around those lines, okay? Also, we have a number fifty-seven. Maybe that's the age the person is at the moment, no? So he will teach you how. But this is specific, guys. Eh? I'm I'm no, uh, you know, I always get this message, and then <laughs> this is a general reading. I, I need to keep it general, but I need to drop these messages. I mean, I cannot go without dropping it, okay? And six and two, um, eight. So I'm getting like uh, eight months, you will have an opportunity to shine this bright, okay? I'm getting that, I'm getting that you need to unlock your heart, become more like a wild woman instead of, a, you know, like uh, in your mental space, which is something that you dominate very well. Uh, you Again, you dominate your mental space very well and it's a time for you to reflect, uh, you know, a more um, the heart communication, meaning communicate from your true colors you know here we have a rainbow get your true colors go out a little bit more okay and he's investing uh, on this skill he's investing on uh, on this skill and you pay attention please that's the message you need to pay attention to how he or she has done it what how, ask ask this person you know, how how do you got this so good at communication okay maybe you need to do some training Okay, but you're going in the right direction. This is the person that is the right person, 22 again, to teach you this. Okay, let's see some tarot cards to support in this message. Okay. Okay. What my talented souls need to know about this uh, skill and how they are going to uh, develop this. How this person is going to teach, uh, you know, what's the lessons that we need to learn. This is what's going on potentially. Uh, uh, I'm going to put four cards and I'm going to do this. How we're going to go from the, the, the goal, which is learning to communicate, to the landing, meaning the, the let's say, manifestation of this skill. Okay, three of cups. Beautiful. I'm going to put all together. Three of cups. Look at this celebration. You are you you are you are already doing this. Ace of Wands. Oh my God! It will bring you a new start. This is the skill that brings you new opportunities, new opportunities for success. The moment that you master, I'm thinking that here is the message: is that you need to train this with your friends. Uh, maybe something around public speaking here. You know, for some of you. Okay, um, uh, maybe also you seen in a Taurus. I mean, this will be very specific, no? But there is something about a chor, uh, a, a Taurus, you know, like, uh, I mean, I, I hope I pronounce that well. Um, uh, singing or public speaking, you need to train this in a safe environment. That's what I'm getting. You need to train your communication skills in a safe environment. Okay, what I'm trying to tell you is to learn this uh, skill, practice with friends. That's what I'm getting. Practice with friends. And when you got the skill master, which is a question of time, you have new beginnings in your career. Amazing new beginnings. Amazing new beginnings. Okay? And in this card, you know, we also have kind of, a, you know, similar, very similar colors. I mean, I love it when a spirit does this. I pick up four different tarot decks for the four different piles. Okay? And then everything is connected, you know? I mean, this is the kind of the same colors. These are your true colors. I speak from from your heart because obviously this is the sorry god is connected I speak from your heart okay and practice with your friends okay 
or practice with your friends and getting also with your colleagues, you know, with in the, within your uh, trusted environment. That's what I'm getting. This is your trusted environment. You practice, you practice, okay? And then you, you get a new beginning, a new start uh, for this skill to be implemented. Oh my God, look at this Ace of Pentacles. You master this communication skill, which your boss or your partner is teaching you, and you get the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of I'm back. Contain interruption. <laughs> well, that means, you know, that maybe you have a lot of things to overcome, you know, in this time master thing. I mean, the fact that it takes time uh, on develop these uh, skills, uh, there will be some, let's say, some uh, few challenges. But, you know, like, uh, I mean, I have the feeling that you already have overcome these challenges and it's all in your mind, you know, it's not real. Okay. Anyway, Ace of Pentacles, you, when you master this uh, skill, okay, when you master this uh, skill, which is a lot to do with public uh, speaking, I'm getting, okay, because the level of success that comes with this uh, skill is really big, okay, so I'm getting that um, uh, this, uh, this, um, I'm getting that this uh, skill, you know, is, it, will take, it will take you, you know, to f really, really far, okay, it will take you really, really far. So I'm getting, for some of you, this is about a career that involves, you know, a lot of presentations, you know, in the office environment, a lot of presentations, a lot of, uh, let's say, convincing stakeholders, a lot of, let's say, presenting ideas to be acquired, you know, to be invested, to be, uh, uh, you know, done. And then for others of you, I'm getting that this is a skill that is about public speaking, is about, uh, you know, singing, or is about uh, being in front of a, a, a big public being in front of, um, uh, I, I get the more artistic by, if you want to put it that way. Okay. Regardless, there is a, this person is teaching you that, okay, and you will practice this in accord. I would say in accord with your friends, with your working environment, because I get the two kind of you know different uh, lines here. The line of uh, you know a career that is uh, very much uh, you know office based. Um, uh, that kind of thing. And then I get the vibe of the person that is more on the artistic path. And in either case, you need to practice with your colleagues, you need to practice with your team, you need to practice with your friends, you need to practice with all those people. Because those people are the ones that are giving you the hopes, are giving you the recognition, are giving you the strength to keep going, okay? And guess what? When you make this skill, when you master this skill, new beginnings, new passionate beginnings, and new, uh, you know, and total success total success so again unlock your heart it's not only your mind you're very clever you're very intelligent unlock your heart become a wild woman a little bit and then six of one victory oh my god guys oh my god oh my god oh my god i get so excited about these things Ugh. okay i i get very excited when people you know it's successful of course of course you know what because you're listening to your intuition okay you're listening to your intuition and that this is this you came here to make sure that you are on the right track you are on the right track okay and the six of one in total victory you know look at that look at that victory okay victory recognition well this in fact is about public recognition so i'm getting again the two paths either if you are in an office environment either if you are in an artistic career you will get the uh, la laurels you will get this, uh, this uh, coron la corona, this, uh, you know, crown, sorry. <laughs> you will get this crown uh, of success. So you need to master this communication skill. And the master is the person that you're thinking that already succe is successful on that. He's very successful and he's ready to teach you. He's ready to teach you. Unlock your heart. I mean, you're doing amazing. You're so beautiful too. Okay. Uh, final two message, uh, advice message. Ooh, call to action. This is beautiful. Take charge, lead by example, walk your talk. Yes, this is your, uh, this is this person. Okay, I'm getting that. This is this person. It's a commander. It's someone that has uh, already got uh, recognition for this communication skills. As I said, he's a master. So he's a commander. He's someone that, you know, has been recognized. Also, we have two circles here. Has been, uh, and, and, you know, some uh, wins, you know, similar wins to these ones, you know. It's kind of, he already has been triumphant, uh, triumphant 
in doing what you are trying to do. Look, it's the same kind of symbol, you know, the symbol that you have in your head is the symbol that he has here. So he had already received this victory. He has already received this recognition for this uh, skill. Okay. And this is a, co he's calling you to action. He's calling you to practice. He's calling you to try out. He's calling you to try, 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 try. Put your skill out. Put your skill out. Learn from me. I will be there. I will be helping you. I will be teach you. I will tell you exactly where you're good, where you're bad. Okay. And this is key person in your career. This is a key, key, total key person in your career. Okay. So lead by example. This is him leading by example. He's being the example for you. He's being the example for you. And you need to pay attention to this person. He has walked the talk. He had take took church and he wants to share that story with you. He wants to share this uh, story. Look, he has been triumphant. I mean, no wonder, you know, it came. I mean, I love when the spirit put the cards in this way. Um, it, it, he has been triumphant. This is him. He already su was is successful here. Now it's your turn. Listen to this person, please. You are doing that. Okay. But uh, this is a total, total confirmation. You are, you have a gift of communication, okay, that is there inside, that need to be fully, fully, fully blossoming, okay? He needs to blossom, and it's a question of time, and it's a question of master this time. Okay, and the final advice, oh, look at this, this is all pink, all pink, unlock, unlock this heart, my dear talented soul, unlock your heart, talk from the mind and from the heart, talk, combine both Combine both. Talk with, with your passion and with your knowledge and with your understanding. Okay? Okay. And uh, Radna, this is a new uh, deck that I have and I wanted to put it, you know, anyways, but I don't know the message of every card. So, Radna, we're going to check on Radna. Okay? It's not a, it's not a, uh, let me see which number it is. I love it. I mean, it's a beautiful 103. One second. One of three. Radna. The goddess of passionate love and longing. Upright. Are you in love? You very well, maybe soon. Radna is the goddess of euphoric bliss and deep surrender when you gaze into the eyes of your lover. She is the passionate lover of Krishna who gave up everything to be in his arms. Radna represents the desire to merge with your beloved and lose yourself in the utter ecstasy that is love. If you aren't already in love, it is well on his way and already occurring around all around you. Allow yourself to lose yourself in the divine dance of romance, for love is just you experiencing your own soul in another body. Okay, this is beautiful. <laughs> Maybe this is all connected to love, you know what I mean? I mean... At the end of the day, I mean, and I love because this resonates with the wild woman and with this, uh, you know, also the colors are, are beautiful, no? So what I'm getting is um, use your love, use your heart to unlock your communication skills. Use your own love, the love that you have for the person, the whoever is the person. Use that love to unlock these communication skills. Use the heart, not just the mind. Because the mind, you're the master of your mind. Okay? So now it's a question to lose yourself a little bit. Dance. This is a woman dancing. This is a woman dancing. Let's dance. Let's dance. I mean, listen to music and dance. I'm literally, I'm telling you that. <laughs> okay. Look, I love it. Uh, hope this resonates with you. Okay? Congratulations. Power power is on your way okay uh, power in the sense of power of your gift okay uh, power as well i mean like you will be very successful uh, so congratulations and uh, i'm very happy that you have this person teaching you this okay i'm very happy that this person is in your path be be thankful for that okay and please um, comment, share, subscribe if you feel that this resonates with you help me to ignite more talent you ignite my talent and I wish I ignite yours as I said at the very beginning and uh, till the next one thank you so much have a lovely day bye bye hello talented souls
if you have chosen pile number two with this beautiful carnelian sorry for my nails oh my god uh, beautiful carnelian this will be your reading and i wanted to show you my beautiful stone i got this one from uh, seattle and uh you know it says teach i got it like a uh, 20 uh, 15 years ago something like that and always love this message we all need to teach you know what we know pass it on pass it on okay look your colors match here anyway so i chose uh you know this uh, goddess car which will be the main uh, skill these two supporting uh, cars to understand more about the, the the things that you need to learn from your boss from this business person um, you know, we'll find out. And then a uh, two supporting message at the end. Look at this beautiful card. And for you, I have picked this tarot deck. I'm going to shuffle with you. And this is the tarot. Uh, sorry, the tarot. The tattoo. Okay? Tattoo tarot deck. I have chosen a different tarot deck for each pile. Okay? And I uh, hope you're doing well, by the way. Mm? I hope you're doing well. Okay. Uh... You are very passionate, I can, I can tell. Okay, let's see. This person that you have in your mind, what is going to teach you? What are the lessons that you need to learn? Forgiveness. Ooh, beautiful. Forgiveness. He will teach you forgiveness. Wow, this is kind of very spiritual. It's also number seven. This is a spiritual teacher. Uh, your teacher is an spiritual teacher. Is trying to unlock, you know, your heart so you can forgive people, forgive situations, forgive others, okay? So he is being an example for you of, uh, you know, the, the importance of forgiveness and the importance of, uh, you know, of um, being kind, you know, and uh, being kind and, uh, oh my God, the eyes, look at the eyes, look at the eyes. I will show you very closely. The eyes are kind of white, and what I'm getting is like, um, it's like uh, clarity, no? He's trying to show you, he's trying to make you see clearly. He's trying to make you see things clearly. There's something important about that, okay? Uh, and forgiveness is such a beautiful thing, okay? Uh, maybe you struggle, you know, the business has struggled, uh, the people struggle, uh, some people didn't behave very nicely with you, okay, uh, with you and with your peers, with your company, with your business or whatever. Uh, so he's trying or she's trying to teach you to overcome this, um, this um, feeling and embrace, you know, embrace, uh, embrace change. Okay, look, the ghost dance, number 22. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The divine plan, the divine, divine plan. That's what I'm getting, divine plan. This person also is trying to teach you that behind this uh, challenge that you need to forgive, okay, there is a divine plan. There is a ghost dance, meaning that the ghost or there is something hidden that is dancing on the back Meaning that if you forgive, the blessings, the blessings will double. If you forgive, your blessings will double. Because on the back of this uh, challenge, okay? <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, I hope you hear me. Yes. On the back of this challenge, okay? That uh, or this, uh, If you master this uh, skill, if you forgive yourself as well, eh? Okay? I'm getting as well. If you forgive yourself, forgive others, forgive forgiveness, okay? If you really, truly master this... There is, there is so many ghosts, I mean, there is so many spirits that want to dance with you, meaning that there is a back story that wants to shine, and this happened because of a divine reason. Whatever is the challenge, try to uh, see that there are things, try to accept that there are things that you cannot see, but they're, they are working uh, still in your favor. So whatever it happened to you, although this sounds like uh, blah, 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 is for the better good, okay? Because there is a there is a dance that is happening on the back of what you see. That this person is trying to to clearly make you see this ghost, okay? Yes, this person is trying to help you to see this ghost. This person is trying to, with his experience or her experience, 
because they have been there. He's trying to show you that there is a ghost, there is a back story that you don't see yet, but it's a beautiful story. It's number 22. It's a master number. It's a lesson. It's a lesson that will help you develop your soul. Wow. And look at this, another two. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is kind of freaking amazing. I'm getting the chills. Look at this. I'm getting the chills. Okay. The Andean Cross. <laughs> you know, like... Okay. So, this is two, 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 two. Uh, no, I, I like this. I mean, well, I want this because it's two, 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 two. There is a master, your person, this person... Uh, it's a spiritual teacher, as I said at the beginning, and it's teaching, it's teaching you this uh, amazing uh, story that happened to, to, to him or to her, okay? It's helping you to see with the eyes of the soul, with the clear eyes. Which are the clear eyes? The clear eyes are the eyes of the soul. He's helping you to do this process, okay? And uh, uh, or if it is a business plan, I mean, I don't know who is this person, but it's obviously connected to your work. Okay. And uh, is helping you to master forgiveness because in this uh, skill, okay, you kind of unlock faith that, I mean, you unlock the divine uh, treasures that are already yours. This is like a treasure, you know. This is this uh, cross uh, for me. Uh, you know the cross, well, Jesus, you know, carry the cross, you know, carry the pain. You carry the cross, you carry the pain, okay? The pain from a point of view of uh, forgiving yourself. I'm getting a lot of self-forgiveness. Uh, or forgive, me, forgive uh, yourself and forgive others, you know, for the things that happen. Okay, I don't know what thing can happen, but, you know, this is about, uh, you know, let, let it go. Okay? You carry the cross, and now the cross, if you master this lesson, your cross becomes a treasure. Because this, for me, is a golden, beautiful, uh, you know, uh, ancestral history. I mean, this is like a, a you know, like a the most valuable jewelry you can have. This is the most amazing piece of jewelry that you can have. Okay? This is golden. This is like winning, winning. No winning. This is like uh, getting. Yes, this is like winning. That's the word. Winning. Winning an amazing trophy. Winning an amazing gift. Winning an amazing, uh, you know, it's like the cross instead of being a, uh, you know, a, a weight becomes gold, becomes a gift. Oh my God, this is so amazing. Oh my guys, I love doing this. I mean, I'm getting the chills. I'm getting emotional as well. Okay, so I know it's painful. So whatever you have to forgive, okay, do it. That's the thing. And dance, your person, this person is teaching you this. Okay, guys, look at this, what I found inside. This is, this is weird, guys. Inside this deck, there is this, <laughs> which is another deck. This should not be here, but it's here. <laughs> this is... A well, I'm going to show you. I mean, this is the most weird thing ever. You know, I, I uh, well, obviously I put all my cards, uh, you know, on the moonlight because it was full moon uh, two days ago. I put everything outside. And yesterday I was uh, playing with the cards, you know, like uh, doing some reading for myself, my daughter. She loved cards as well. And, uh, well, this, I don't know how it came here, but this came here. You will master this skill. This person is truly truly an inspiration for you is the person the magician for me is also him or her you know uh you follow this magician because you become him and he becomes you as well i mean it's like he's definitely is number seven and number one he's definitely teaching you to master this 
okay and you have all the tools to master this okay okay this uh we're going to put four uh, cards here about how we materialize uh, ground this this uh, skill in the in the, in our world how we ground this number one the hermit yes on meditation look at how beautiful is this combination here the magician is being lighted up the magician inside of you is being lighted up okay so and this uh, this dance this uh, you know ancestral knowledge this uh, spiritual uh, path that you are in okay uh, is being lighted and you are in hermit mood at the moment and it's the best thing to do so how you unlock this forgiveness that will unlock these treasures that will unlock your magician okay this person is helping you to do this process this help this person is lighting up your is asking you to focus inside okay focus inside that's what i'm getting this person is helping you to focus inside maybe you have a business around uh, again around spirituality you know and this person is definitely more advanced with you in the um, in this understanding okay wow you like i mean wow wow when you master this forgive yourself see with the eyes from the soul don't see from the eyes of you know what happened okay take the cross with you accept it grab it it will be a gift rather than a pain and you will give birth to new things amazing things you become the empress you become the goddess of birthing new ideas new creativity new endeavors new things so i'm getting the you after this period of time you know you unlock some so many uh, gifts that you have so many talents so many skills you know and that was coming for you Uy, mira. guys i shuffle with you i shuffle with you queen of pentacles you will make a business out of this uh, skill i mean also we have a cross here which is a golden cross we have the queen of pentacles that make money we have this lady that you know is the empress i mean the empress the magician you will make from this lesson a business how you know you know that you know the how okay you know the how you already master this you master two 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 you master uh how to see the two sides of the stories how to see the front side and the back side you have mastered this you are mastering this this is the, the lesson that this person is teaching you okay this is the lesson. He's a very wise soul. I'm getting that this is him. Very wise soul. Very some, someone that, you know, have done this many times. And why he's working with you on this is because he knows that you can land this into, into something really prosperous. He knows that you can land this into some success in the material world. He knows that. He knows you have the energy the power, the determination to land this into something in the material world. And the last one, <laughs> the two of cups. You make a business with this person, I'm telling you. I, I mean, it's like, yeah, let's shake hands. Let's shake hands. Let's create this together. Let's create this together. This person has seen the power inside of you to land this into the material world. I'm not going to this means that this person is also a magician, okay? This person is also a magician. This person is already successful. Or, 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 well, right now he's struggling a little bit because of the conditions I'm getting. But this person has a, the, the ambition to do more, okay? This person is a great... I'm getting a lot more vibes of business partner. Uh, this person is a great business partner, a great uh, person to work with. And this is the deal. You make you make an agreement with this person and he teach you what you needed to he teach you he teach you the final key to unlock all your power, all your success, all your uh let's say uh, the landing, the landing of your skills into this 
material world, the landing, the landing. He's teaching you the landing, and the key for the landing is the forgiveness. Okay, that's beautiful. We have two more cards here, okay? This is uh, some additional information. Oh my God. What do you need to forgive? Forgive today. What do you need to forgive? Forgive today. This is another forgiveness, forgiveness, forgiveness. Master Jesus. This is him also. I'm getting this is him coming twice, you know, uh, you and him. Uh, and also, you know, this look like a lot like Jesus. Okay. So uh, he's a hermit. He's teaching you this. He's teaching you the path to forgiveness. Okay. You are on the path of light, love and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. Forgive yourself. See with the eyes of clarity. Listen to this person, please. That's what I'm going to say. Listen to this person, please. You will unlock so much success if you do this. And this is a great person to do a partnership. And the last one is Danara. No, Darana. This is a new deck that I have. I absolutely uh, like it. Okay. As above, so below. This is in your mind. This is your heart. This is you. Okay. Clarity that comes from understanding that it is a dance in the back. Because whatever happened, it meant to teach you. It meant to become a treasure for you. Okay. And I'm going to read what Dharma means because it's a new deck and I don't have all the meanings. Okay. But what a beautiful... Oh my God. You, you're very lucky to have this person in your life. Um, Darana, single focus concentration. It is time to focus your mind in one goal to undergo the transformation that comes from concentration. The birthing process of an idea takes deep commitment to usher it to life. Through single focus commitment, you will be able to deepen your understanding of your goal and from its core, bring it to fruition. This is your time to say no to everything that is not related to your dharma. Practice dharma and focus on what it is you came to this earth to do. There's no more to say here. Your focus, your single focus right now to unlock this success, career success, material success, landing your gift into this planet is to focus on forgiveness. And this person is, is, is helping you. So you're very blessed. Okay? And remember, it will become a treasure. It will become a treasure. Oh my God, I, I'm so happy for you. I'm so, so happy for you. Because your gift, I mean, your talent is amazing. Okay? So, hope this resonates with you. Please uh, comment, share, like, subscribe if you feel to do so. I'm very happy to have you here. And uh, and yes, till the next one. And uh, I cannot wait to see the, you know, the journey unfolding. Okay? Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Hello, talented souls. If you have chosen pine number three and this beautiful clear crystal, I love these crystals. Okay? This will be your reading. And I wanted to show you. Teach. This stone has been with me uh, for like 15 years. I got it in Seattle in the US. And um, I always love to carry this with me. And it's, uh, it's an important thing to do, you know, to teach. That's why I wanted to do a reading, you know, like uh, what your boss or your business or partner, whatever, want to teach you because it's important to pass on, pass it on. Okay. So we have three cards here that will tell us what the skill that you need to learn. This is the main one and these are supporting ones. Then we have two cards that will tell us a little bit more uh, final message, final supporting message. I love this new deck. It's beautiful. We leave it there. And for, for each pile, I have chosen a different tarot deck. For you, is this Moonchild Tarot. Okay? Which match a lot this stone. Okay? And the overall picture. Okay? I will shuffle with you this one. I will do one shuffle before we start. And then I will... Um, um, 
I will connect. Uh, I will do it again. Okay. So let's say start. And there is something about Texas. I don't know what, but um, the, I have been asked to say to say Texas. There is something about Texas. <laughs> if you're from Texas, then welcome. <laughs> okay. Specific for some of you. Okay. Anyway. Uh, so we have um, these uh, beautiful cards, okay? So let's see what your per this person, this boss, this uh, business partner, this uh, you know significant person in your working environment want to teach you. Focus. Oh wow, this is a beautiful thing. Focus. They want to teach you focus. Okay, to be more focused in your work. This is number four. Also, it's a very solid. I'm getting that you're very solid in your position. Okay, you're very stable in your work. And you worry about this because obviously right now it's, it's kind of, you know, difficult within the current um, uh, climate uh, to be focused, okay? It's very difficult because too many things are going on. It's a proof, it's a, it's a, it's a test to our... It's a test to our um, patient, okay? It's a test to our patient. It's a test to our ability to uh, really, really be still, to put in the way, okay? And for you, that's it's a little bit hard, but you are, uh, this is a message I'm getting, you are very um, solid in your current position, you are safe, you are, um, I'm getting also for some of you, you know, like the, also I'm getting this message, okay, FYI. Some of you are not working at the moment, okay? And I'm getting that uh, putting focus will bring you that job, okay? Be very targeted in your intention. So we have these two messages, you know, um, if it is right now, if it is right now or if it is in the future, uh, the, this significant person in your career is teaching you about to be focused, okay? And if you're looking for a job, I'm getting a lot that this person is someone that you used to work before with you as well. Someone from the previous company, someone from previous uh, past career, mm? Okay, so focus. Focus is what you need to learn. Focus on your work, focus on organization and skills, focus on your target intention. You know, we have a, here the third eye very, very highlighted in this card. Okay, um, and also it's red. So what tells me is that uh, obviously financial security is very important for you right now. With the number four, I'm getting that this security is there. You should not be too worried. You should not worry. That's what I'm getting. What you should really need to do is focus that intention into manifesting the job, uh, looking for the, the right job, and also uh, focusing in your day-to-day -day work, being a little bit more organized, a little bit more focused. Okay? But you are okay. Number four is the one, the most solid number in terms of uh, stability. Okay? Then, what other message supporting this message? Serpent. Yes, this is you doing too many circles, going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Okay, this is you like uh, playing some games, let's say, playing some games or some uh, trying some things here and then trying something here. But in the middle, you're all, you know, um, let's say, twisted when you really need to be a straight. You need to be clear. Okay, so what I'm getting here is that you need to let go of the all and focus on either here or here. And let go of, you know, of this uh, zwingle action, this action of going in backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Focus either here or here. Target, 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 target. That's the message I'm getting. Four, six. The four is another four here. So I'm getting, if you do that, you get a six, which is the balance. The six is a number of balance. If you are more focused, you get balance. If you are more focused, you get balance. Focus on your current job or focus on the target intention in terms of what you want to get. Next one, the council. And this person is teaching you this. This colleague, this ex-boss, this current boss, this current key person at work is teaching you to be more focused. So listen to that person. The council is number 11. This is a master number. So this is the people, you are only, you are not only getting, um, this is the person that is helping you, I'm getting, okay? So, uh, sorry about that, oh, sorry about that. 
uh, this is the person that is helping you and what i'm getting is that he's uh, showing you that the best destination is this one i'm getting the destination that is forward not the destination backwards meaning he's asking you to go forward to go very fairly forward no backwards okay forget about the the things that happened in the past okay just be targeted and also number 11 is a master number so this person I'm getting for some of you is very spiritual. Uh, I'm getting a lot of vibe of a woman. Okay. And um, uh, very spiritual, very determined, very much in, uh, in control. A part of a bigger community of uh, very wise people, very in very intelligent people, people that know what they're doing. So your boss uh, or this person that is working with you, is someone very, very uh, regarded, meaning he have achieved a very important position within the company or within the environment that they work. Very important position. Also, they're, they're masters, meaning they're masters of focus as well. That's what I'm getting. He or she is a master of getting the things done, getting things very clearly done, giving instructions, giving, or, giving orders. I mean, very, very, very organized. And that's the thing that you need to learn from this person. Okay, how they get organized, how they are so, so still and also so action driven, how they are so, uh, let's say, clear, because this is a white color, white color. Oh, sorry about that. This is a, a white color, so it means that this person is very clear about the intentions. Okay, and maybe perhaps this is the lesson, you know. Sorry. Luna! Shh. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, perhaps this person, you know, want to shout this message, okay? The message is you have to have a clear intention, clear focus, okay? And this is also clear crystal. So you are looking for clarity, okay? You're looking for clarity. And the, in order to get the clarity, you need to focus your actions, okay? And this person has mastered this. It's very clear about what they want, has achieved a very recognition, has, is in a good position, and if it is not someone that you are working because you're looking for a job or something, this is someone that uh, has already achieved this regardless and is really keen to help you with this clarity. How to get this clarity and how to get this focus. Okay? And sorry about the dog, but you, this person is shouting to you that you need to really focus, okay? No, in a good way. I mean, because they're very spiritual. I mean, very chill. I mean, it's not someone that I come across like uh, two action, only action, only action. They think a lot as well, you know. Okay. And again, the target is on the future. You see what I mean? Look at this. The target is up here. These are two different decks. Eh? So the target is this. Okay. Also, number 11 is, uh, is a stability. So for me, you are stable. Do not worry about the financial situation, okay? Just focus, um, just uh, listen to this person about how they how they manage to get this focus, how they manage, what, help you to, to get the clarity, ask them to help you to find the clarity as where to focus, okay? Hope it does clear. Okay, we're going to put four tarot uh, cards about how we land this uh, skill into the world. Into the, mat into the physical world. I'm sorry about my dog. I hope I hope you can listen anyway. I, I don't like to stop videos. I like to go with the flow. Okay. So one, two, three, and four. How are we going to land this? Six of swords. Yes, we're going to move out from turbulent waters or turbulent thought, turbulent, uh, turbulent, uh, going forward and backwards to clarity. The six of swords is total clarity. Look at this girl. She's holding the sword, cutting all these other thoughts, you know, get out. I'm going to be clear about what I want. That's what we're getting. You're moving out of this unclarity to clarity. So you are going to, with focus, you get clarity. With following this person, you get clarity. Next one. Three of Pentacles, celebration. Yes, 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 yes. Happy days, happy days. Look at how beautiful. You achieve far more. 
you achieve far more by being focused, okay? And once you get this clarity, I mean, the, with the focus, get the clarity. With the clarity, get the success. With the focus, you get clarity. With the clarity, you get success. Page of Wands. Yes, because you get a new beginning, a new, uh, a, a new, you offer something new to the world. You know, this is you getting passionate again, getting excited again, getting into the mood. Okay, I want to do more. I want to do new things. I want to put my creativity out there and do everything more. You will have the chance to do this. Okay. But I stop going backwards and forward, back and forward. Just single focus mind. Okay. Focus on one talent, on one skill, on one thing that you're doing, and you will achieve the opportunity to do even more. Okay. That's beautiful. And uh, that's beautiful. That's you. And the last one is Page of Pentacles. Yes. The Page of Pentacles is a new beginning. You know, in a, I have, I have uh, you know, done, you know, many readings before. I mean, obviously, we I listen to other readers as well. So the Page of Pentacles is like the Ace of Pentacles for many tarot readers. Okay. So it's like a, a new opportunity. You will have access to this new opportunity. This new opportunity is here. All a lot of cir circles, you know. So you are completing. Also, this is I'm paying attention to this. You are completing a lot of cir cir circles right now. Or you are going circles, you know. But this will come into clarity, and you will have a new beginning that you is you are very. We will be very passionate about it. New beginning in your current current environment, you know. A new beginning maybe outside, or new new things, totally new job, totally new thing. And this person, this person that is with you is helping you to have this clarity, is helping you to be focused, um, to for you to cut this uh, thought that don't longer serve you, to achieve the success, and perhaps together, together, I'm getting together. Uh, with your passion and uh, uh, they understanding and they uh, ability to manifest together, you can get a brand new beginning. Together or, or you or you alone, hmm? or you alone. Again, this person is helping you to get the clarity. One hundred percent. Is helping you to, uh, you know, to meditate and really focus on what you need. Also, this person is closing their eyes. When you close your eyes, you go in once you get focused. And you are a very action-driven person, so you really want to go, go, go. That's why you go this way, okay? But um, if you do that, you, you move from the turbulent waters, you achieve a lot of success, and you have the opportunity to... Um, you know, to start something brand new that will make you really happy. Beautiful. And financially, you are okay. That's, I'm getting, keep getting that message. Okay. Next one, uh, we have two cards here. Santosha. This is beautiful. More circles, more circles in your life. And this is Mother Mary. Yes, love and peace. Mother Mary is, I mean, for me, this is this person, okay? And I will, I will go in this card in a moment. For me, this is Mother Mary... Is this person and I'm getting a lot that for, for a lot of you, you will start something new, a new project or a new thing with this person that you're asking. OK, again, I'm getting a lot of the woman vibes here. OK, uh, as I said before, but take it as a resonate and she's kind of trying to mother in you. OK, uh, because you are a very, very uh, high energy, you know, high energy. Uh, action driven person okay and this person is trying to teach you a lot that you know peace you know uh he's kind of acting like your mother in a way that she really want you to understand that there is a moment that we need to stop okay think and then act okay and there is a moment that we really need to get this focus so we can evolve and we can you know get more for us Okay, and that's beautiful. She's very smoothing, you know what I mean? She's very calm, very, I mean, very regarded, very successful. A master number, she's a master of what she does. So f ask, ask this person, can you help me to have focus? Okay, 
And the last one is Satoya. This is a new deck. I love it. Look at how beautiful it is on the back. Okay, and I'm going to read this one. Because it's new and I don't know the meaning of all of them. And it's a short message anyway. And I think it's interesting, like a final message. A final brain. Okay, 91. Santoja, contentment. Okay, you are at a place where you can relax and while and be content with where you are. You have done tremendous work to be at this place. Now is the time to let it sink and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Yes, this is coming here. You know, once you have the clarity, it's time to celebrate. Okay, we often spend our whole life striving towards the next goal and skipping over accomplishments. We never allow yourself to experience true santosha, contentment, for where we are at this present moment. Take a few moments to close your eyes, place your hands on your heart and breathe. Place your hands on your heart and breathe. That's what she's teaching you. Um, take it all that is around you. What you have co-created, how far you have come, how blessed you are, the people who love you. Um, that you are safe, number four, you are safe, okay? Love and supported by the universe. You will not fall behind by taking a pause and being content with what you have. In fact, Kama Earthy energy will nourish you through all, throughout, through, throughout all your future endeavors. And that's the point. Take time to focus on what you really want. Okay? Don't do millions of things. Don't pay attention to millions of thoughts. You focus. You get, uh, you know, you get into this bliss, blissful feeling, okay? That you have a lot. And you have accomplished it a lot. And then something new comes. That's the plan. <laughs> That's the divine plan. <laughs> okay. And these cards are beautiful. Okay. Hope it resonates for you. Please uh, comment, share, like if you want to, if you feel to do so. Okay. And I looking forward to hear your comments really and uh, bless your journey. Uh, ignite that amazing talent that you have. Okay. That action driven person that you are will come, will have a moment to sh share that action again. Right now is a time to focus, a time to pause, a time to put your hands on your heart to think, to get clarity, okay? And everything will unfold. Thank you so much, okay? And uh, see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hello, talented souls. Last but not least, the beautiful feather. Look at, look at the patterns. So beautiful. Okay, we're going to put it here. Okay, and I want to show you my stone. This says teach. So what this person is going to teach you that you need to learn. Okay? And uh, skills. And uh, today, okay, what we have is I have picked a different tarot deck for each pile. Okay? And I have uh, these three cards that will tell us the main thing that you need to uh, this person is going to teach you and some supporting message this is the main thing and supporting message then some advice for the end okay and this is your tarot deck which is the angel tarot obviously it's an angel feather we need an angel tarot okay and that's the plan <laughs> let me grab some water Normally I do three 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 pies. Today I do four because this feather wanted to come like crazy, uh, you know. But it's like uh, you know, three is my number, so you are my beautiful four. Anyway, I love four as well. <laughs> uh, four and three are my one of my favorite numbers, regardless. Hmm? I'm a, I was born on the thirty first, which is a four. Uh, the year is, uh, if you add up, is also two two four. So I'm a four three four uh, in numerology for my birthday. Okay. <laughs> well, I share that with you. Maybe you like numerology. Okay. So what's the skill that this person, this boss, or this business partner, this significant working related person, want you want to teach you? Fortune. Oh wow. He wants to teach you how to make money. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay he wants he or she want to tell you um how you no know what how to make money that's the first thing that came to my mind to be honest uh, how to secure a fortune oh wow so i'm getting you working with the angel with the spirit world in order to manifest many many things in your life okay also is someone that is coming to teach you to be uh, grateful for everything that you have look at the coins here coming from the sky yes 27 maybe it's a significant number for you it's a nine so there is something that needs to be complete okay and this person is teaching you what what a skill you need to complete in order to learn how to manifest a fortune this person is teaching you how to manifest fortune how to manifest success how to and um, probably this is a person that is more like uh in business no i mean like um uh, no boss more like a business partner or, or someone that is teaching you about business okay and he will teach you this the manifestation process wow 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 how to how to make the coins that's beautiful okay and supporting this message <laughs> Oh my god, this is so beautiful. The sun, the sun. Okay, so I'm getting that how you shine your light. I'm getting you make money with your gift. And uh, it's just a question of you to believe that, but the sun is in your back, it's in your it's in you. The sun is landing on you, meaning you are or will be in the spotlight. And this person knows how to how to make this sun shine, or how to translate this sun into co into manifestation into coins. Oh wow! Powerful, 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 powerful. This is a critical moment for you. Okay, I'm getting. This is the moment to shine. This is the moment to put out your work. This is the moment that you kind of go out, out, out firstly. This is the moment when the sun and the stars are aligned for you. Another supporting message, the lower world. Well, this is my card. Well, my card because it's 31. Okay, the lower world is, I know this meaning of this card very, very well because I did a personal reading uh, and this card, you know, came. The lower world is a beautiful world. A uh, beautiful wall. Yes, it's a beautiful wall. <laughs> in the sense that the lower wall is the wall where you go into your deepest fears, face them, and convert them into your power, the highest power. And this is the beautiful thing here, my dear talented soul. The person that you are asking for is helping you to face your fears, to understand your sun, your own light, okay? And how to combine these, these fears and these painful stories and this ancestor story, because it's also about the ancestors, it's about the karma, you know? It's about the things that, you know, we fear, example, we fear abundance because in our family there was never abundance, okay? We fear to be rich because we will be too different to the rest of the people that is around us. We fear to be um, successful because we will shine so bright that we will burn some people in the in the way. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, so this this inner work is so important because if you control that that pain, that that understanding of the fear, if you under, if you face the fear. There is no, you, you, you dissolve the fear. You see what I mean? It becomes your strength. It becomes your greatest power. And it's also a four. And you pick number four. And five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Nine. And four. Okay. So what I'm getting is this person is helping you. To see the dynamic between these two things, the dynamic between these two things, which is your own light, 
your shyness, your sucks, you, you, you are meant to succeed in this lifetime. Okay. This person knows that the sun is here. You know, you are the sun. Mm? How to work on this to manifest the coins. He's helping you to do this process. Oh, wow. This is so beautiful. This is so, so beautiful. Yes, I mean, there is always, you know, like, um, there is always uh, fear. I mean, fear is, is, is like uh, the common denominator in every human being. You know, if we didn't, if we didn't have fear, we will never, you know, um, learn. Okay? So right now, it's about, forget about the fear. You can manifest these coins. You are working with the spirit world. You are working with this person. Okay? And it's, and the stars are aligning for you to shine your light. Okay? You have become stronger by facing these fears. Okay? And the next, uh, with the tarot deck, I want to see how we land this teaching. Okay? This teaching about how to manifest these coins into the material world. I'm waiting to find this. Okay. <gasps> well, supposedly it was going to be four cards. I put five. Okay. This is this is kind of you know like uh, this is the spirit working on my, uh, on me, because everyone got four cards. You got five. Okay, you got five. <laughs> First one. Nine of fire. Oh, wow. What it says? Don't give up. Protect that you, that which you have created. Have courage and believe in yourself. Yes. Talking about the lower world, talking about the fears. Don't give up. Don't give up. Protect what you have done. Have courage and believe in yourself. This is a time for believing in yourself. This person is showing you how to believe in yourself. Is every day he look at you, she look at you, and I say you, and he says to you, "You are beautiful. You are talented. You are amazing. You have something to give to the world, and that something will manifest into a fortune." Okay, and uh, you have that, and this person is reminding you, literally looking at your eyes or looking at your video call because right now we are not seeing each other. <laughs> okay, and he's telling you this. And that's his or her role, to remind you of this. Don't give up. <gasps> Look how beautiful it is. Number 14, the balance. Yes, it's important to balance. And Kangel Sakil is this, the need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise. Wait for the perfect timing. Yes, we know that there is a perfect timing. And for me, this is the perfect timing. I'm getting that for you. You are doing this balancing act right now. You are doing the balancing act between the sun and the and the and the the fear, the sun and the dark. You are doing this balancing act. When this balance act is perfectly done, meaning when uh, and it's very easy to say, very difficult to execute. But if, I mean, the, the, you know, let's say facing all the fears and become, you know, purely, purely light. It's easy to say, difficult to, um, to execute, but this is an invitation, okay, to accept that there is always a balance between these two. And this will never disappear, but it will be in balance with this one. And when both are in balance, you are fortunate. You are successful. You are the star that you meant to be, okay? And this person is teaching you that. It's amazing. Three of water, a celebration, yes! Yes, you will celebrate your success with this person, okay? This person is very close to you. You need to have more fun. There will be something that you will do, put out in the work, in, the, in, in your work, in your creativity, something that you will put out. Again, this is my creative pile. Okay, this is people that work in the creative world, meaning music, art, um, writing, books. Uh, I mean, all my creative tribe. You're putting this out, something, maybe a small, maybe big. You never give up. 
remember to balance this and the standard the balance is you know is needed and it's always there there is no dark without light there's no light without dark and again it's easy to say but you are mastering this and this person is helping you to master this because he's sitting in front of you every single day and telling you you are amazing and don't give up okay this person is your inspiration okay Three of water, there will be a celebration. You will celebrate something, something, something come out and you celebrate, okay? Something that you created, come out and you will celebrate. That's beautiful. <gasps> three, three, I, I told you that I love number three. Okay, this is a three, three. This is divinely orchestrated. This is divinely guided. This is divine timing. This is divine moment, <laughs> okay? And I'm getting very excited because you know, the Empress, the Empress is you giving birth. This is the Empress. The Empress has fortune. And look at the colors, they're identical. You are an Empress. You have all this gift to give. That aren't These flowers for me are the gift that you give to the world. You have all this gift to give and they convert into, you know, into coins. And the Empress is the is a manifestation. The Empress is the it's not like the highest priestess, which is the let's say the spiritual manifestation. This is the earthy manifestation. The Empress, you know, manifest. The Empress. Uh, the Empress is connected with nature. The Empress is manifestation, is earth. And this is a confirmation of lavish well, I'm reading lavish abundance. Give birth to your dream. Nurture yourself and others. You are giving birth, you are the queen. Look at that, you are the queen. You are a total queen. Okay? And this is a confirmation that this is manifesting. There will be a small success before, because for me, the three of water is kind of a celebration. I mean, it's a very good card, don't get me wrong. It's celebrating with friends, celebrating with people, celebrating something very nice achieved. But then it's another big achievement. That's what I'm getting. Then it's a bigger, 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 even bigger achievement. Okay? And then, eight of waters. Okay. Eight of waters, you move on. You search for something more meaningful, a spiritual and an emotional growth. Okay. This is, a, this is a moment. This is a moment that when you get it all, you, uh, you know that you will need to learn something new. I mean, because you are a constant, constant uh, evolution and this was the other card, you know, because this is the extra card, no? This is far, far away, guys. I'm telling you, this is far away. When you master something, you want to learn something new, okay? And then you will have all this amazing recognition, okay? But you will want to move on to search for something new, to get more spiritual and emotional growth, because this is you. You never... you you. You master this and you know that you can master this in again and again and again. Example, you write a book, you created a painting, you land it as a success, you land it as a fortune. This person helped you to understand the whole dynamic. This person is helping you to make the coins. As simple as that. Maybe with connections in the industry, with the network, with the with the, with the trusting in you, of course, with trusting of you, knowing your talent, he see your potential, she see your potential. And she's showing or he's showing you the way. Okay? We know that. But what happens is when someone creative like you masters something, you want to master something else. And this is the never-ending creative process of a creative mind and a creative soul. And that's how we evolve. And this is amazing. And that's going that's that's what I see for you. <laughs>